In this tutorial we will create a gazebo model. Knowing how to create a gazebo model could be useful when you are doing simulation related to object recognition or any other simulation. Let us discuss briefly each step of gazebo model creation. As a first step, we need to create a 3D model. Usually, this is done by using CAD software. CAD stands for a computer-aided design. There are quite a lot of CAD software out there. Basically, you can use any of it. Most CAD tools are not free, but if you are a student, you can use some software tools for free. At the second step, CAD model is converted to STL format. STL stands for stereolithography. STL is a file format commonly used for 3D printing and computer-aided design. At the third step, the model is resized and colored. For this operation, we will use Blender. At the fourth step, we create an unfolded image of the model. On the fifth step, using painting software we put texture on the image. At the sixth step, using the image previously created we put the texture on the model. At the seventh step, we export created files. At the eighth step, we create an SDF file. And finally, by putting several SDF files together, we create a gazebo world. Now let's begin from the first step. In this tutorial, Fusion 360 is used. Fusion 360 is free with some limitations for a student and for a personal use. To install it, go to this page. Click on the Shop All Products button. Click on the Fusion 360. Click on the Download Free Trial button. Firstly, click on the Fusion 360 for Personal Use button, and then click on Get Fusion 360 for Personal Use. Move to the bottom of this page. Note, that as shown in this page, Fusion 360 for personal use has a lot of limitations, but for creating a gazebo model it has enough functions. Click on Get Started button. After creating an account, you should be able to use your Fusion 360. Now, let's create a model. After installation of the Fusion 360, open the program. This is initial window. Firstly, display the grid. This is not a required step, however, in my opinion, it is easier to understand size of the object with the grid displayed. We are going to draw side view of the car on the Xi plane, so select the plane and then, from the Create menu, select Create Sketch. Now, select Line and draw the contour of the car. To draw wheel arches, firstly, we will draw a circle and then remove unnecessary lines using trim function. To create a solid, select press pull function. In direction setting select symmetric and set the distance. You also can pull the arrow to thicken the solid. Next, select Mirror from Create menu. Using Mirror function, we can create symmetric models. Select the object and then select the mirroring plane. Now we are going to create wheels. Select the side plane and create a new sketch on it. From Create menu, select Center Diameter Circle and move the cursor to the center of the wheel arch. 
create a circle slightly smaller than wheel arch. Then, using extrude function create a wheel. Using mirror function twice, create all wheels. To color a window, we will do a small trick. Firstly, draw a square. Then, using extrude function, cut the surface just a little bit. Creating a small step will be make much easier filling the window in the blender. Now, go to the file menu and choose export. Change the name and then select SDL as a file type we want to export. Also, make sure that the file is exported to the folder you want. Then, press export button. Depending on the model size, it may take a while to convert it to SDL format. As we successfully created an SDL file, now we are going to use Blender to color and add texture to our model. Firstly, install the Blender. Go to this page. Click on Download Blender button. Click on Download Blender 3.4.1. After the file is downloaded, execute the installer. After installation, open the Blender. Delete objects initially placed in this window. From File menu select Import and then select SDL. Import the SDL file we previously created. From the Object Properties menu on the right side, change XYZ scale to 0.001. This is required because CAD software exports in millimeters, but the Blender reads in meters. Then, move to Materials Property menu. Click on Plus button and then on New button. Do this twice to create two materials. Click on Base Color and select Blue Color. Now, we are going to color our window. Select Modeling tab. Then, change to Face Selection Mode. Select two faces of the window and from Materials property apply Blue Color for these two faces. From the upper right side select Viewpoint Shading Mode. We can see that the window is now blue color. Now, we are going to a draw headlights. Select the faces on which headlights will be. Press U key on your keyboard. Select Unwrap. From the menu select UV Editing. On the left side, we can see unwrapped image. From UV menu select export UV layout. Select the folder to which you want to export the image. Select export UV layout. Now, we are going to draw headlights of the car. Open the image file we have created previously. You can use any painting tool you want. In this tutorial, we will use PaintNet. Part of this image will be used. You can find some images on the internet, or you can draw one yourself. There are several ways for drawing the image. Here is how I do this.
This is how image finally will look like. Save the image and move back to the blender. Create a new material. Click the little circle which is right of the base color. Select image texture and open the image we have created. Finally click assign. If you completed editing your model, move to file menu. From export menu, export Collada file and STL file. Now we are going to create a gazebo model. We have to create the model in the gazebo model directory. Gazebo is a hidden folder, so to show it, check show hidden files. If you are creating a model from zero, firstly you have to create a folder. Here we name it car. But if you already have another model, you may just copy it to reuse the code. In the car folder we have meshes folder in which Collada file, SDL file and image file are stored. Note, that Collada file and image file should be in the same directory. Let's see the config file. Config file should have name, version, SDF file name author information and description of the model. If you always use the same SDF file name, basically you have to change only name of the model. Next, let's see SDF file. This file also has standard format. Here you have to modify name of the model, SDL and Collada files directory. Note, that if your model does not appear in Gazebo, most likely you specified wrong mesh file directory. To visualize our model, run Gazebo. From the Insert tab select model we have created. Now let's see the world file. This is the standard form of the world file. Firstly, we have information of the lights and ground plane. This is common setting for every world file. You don't have to change it. To define new model, you have to specify model name, model pose and whether it is static or not. To launch the world file, execute gazebo world file name. 